Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So we have a PSA return mail day for this week. A couple of items that I dropped off at the Fall Expo, so I've got those back. Grades popped and we've got them all encapsulated here. So I'll showcase it. We've got four cards here that I'm going to show. All PC stuff for me personally, so I'm going to add those to the collection, but I thought I would show them a little bit clearer. I did showcase some of them on the live stream, but we'll be able to see them much better now. So let me start off with this one here. So from the Jake Ottinger collection, 2020-2021 Ultimate Collection in a 9. We've got the Ultimate Rookies. So you've got a nice on-card auto there. That's numbered to 299. This one is in the slightly thicker holder. Since it is a slightly thicker stock card. But it looks pretty nice on that. So we definitely got that. So we've got an Ottinger to start things off. We'll put that over here to the side. And then we'll put over on the other side, opposite side, another Ottinger. And this one is from the cup. Same kind of thing. But this one is the Autograph Gold, the Spectrum Foil, also in a PSA 9. Again, Thicker holder. This one's numbered 36. On card auto. Nice and clean. Pretty nice looking card. So you've got the, obviously, the RPA from the cup. That's one that I'll probably get my hands on at some point, but I wanted to pick this one up because I thought it was pretty cool with the gold foil and then also the fact that this one's numbered 36. So this is certainly a much tougher copy. So we'll have these two bookend the whole thing there. And then in the middle, we'll put a couple of the other PC cards as well. So we'll do Dennis PC here first, since we've got the AEW thing in the background. This one is from the first year, the inaugural year of Upper Deck AEW. And this is the magazine subset. We've got the autograph, but this is the Dynamite version. So I've already shown that one off on my Instagram. But that's the Dynamite parallel for the autograph. And that is number to five. So a, lot of, a couple of these I've already have graded. So this one will just fit in with those and it'll go into the collection. Nice addition there. Had it for a bit, but I wanted to get this one encapsulated to match up with the other ones. So I kind of have a full set of them. I'll probably showcase that at some point. But there's a Dennis PC card. And then last one is uh, from uh, my 1990s Mike Medano cards. And this one is one that's a tougher card. It's one of those ones that a lot of people don't think about. You know, there's different inserts and subsets and things like that that they think about and also parallels. So this is one of those parallels that's tough because of the nature of the set. But at the same time, people don't think about it too much. So this is 9899 Upper Deck MVP. And it's a superscript, number 25. So you go, you can see the little silver foil there. It's got a little bit of shine. And then it is on the back, it is numbered to 25, and it clearly labeled the superscript. And this one is in a PSA 10. It is a PC piece, so I wasn't too worried about that. But at the same time, it is nice to have. Uh, it was a nice clean copy as well. And as it, since it is numbered to 25, no other ones have actually been graded. So it is a pop one, none higher, obviously, but it is a 10, so it wouldn't be any higher anyway. But it is kind of cool to have this copy to go along with it, and it goes into the collection. Okay, so let's move this one here and position that. And there it is. Four cards, because right now for a lot of the stuff, I don't have too many items that I thought about that I wanted to necessarily get graded for flipping purposes. And then for PC purposes, I just wanted to get a couple of these done. Now there will be more than likely. So now we're still months and months away, but uh, as we've approached towards the end of July here, uh, probably at the next fall expo, I'll drop off another set of them. And the next set will actually be other PC items for the most part, most likely. Now I want to correct myself because I did, I think I said fall expo, but this would have been the spring expo when I dropped these ones off. So spring expo for these ones. And then the next ones will be in the fall expo and it'll be the same kind of thing. It'll be some other PC ones. I've definitely got some other Dennis PC ones that uh, definitely qualify in the same vein. Uh, I've got the other one out of five that'll probably be coming in in the next couple of, you know, probably the next couple of weeks, probably from Ship My Cards. So I like having those ones encapsulated just because they are some of the tougher autos. And it's just a personal preference thing. I enjoy it, but it's certainly not necessary. But these ones are kind of fun to have. A couple of Jake Ottinger cards to kind of bookend the whole thing. A Medano Superscript, a nice 1990s one that I spent years looking for, and then one for the Dennis PC. So there's my PSA return, four cards, and thanks to PSA Canada for taking care of that for me. And that'll be it for this one. More videos coming up on the channel. Live streams on Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We did the last episode this past Friday, so I'm recording this on Saturday. And this most recent episode is kind of our pre-national kind of thing. We're not going to national, so we'll have our not national coverage episode next week. And uh, maybe we'll try to invite a couple of folks that are going down to national if they're around and available and can join us for a little bit to kind of chat. That'd be kind of fun to get a little bit of a lay of the land uh, with boots on the ground from people that are down over in Cleveland. Otherwise, we'll keep rolling along here in the summertime and we'll have some fun. So hopefully you're enjoying your collecting pursuits, whatever they are, and then we'll come back for some other videos. With that said, that's it for me for now. Like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much. And we'll catch you in the next one.